cash accounting and how to create a bookkeeping spreadsheet in Excel. According to the IRS, the Internal Revenue Services in the US, most individuals and many small businesses use the cash accounting method. Under this method, you generally report income in the tax year in which you receive it and deduct expenses in the tax year in which you pay the expense. The HMRC, that's the Revenue and Customs in the UK, estimate that up to 4.2 million small companies are eligible to use the cash accounting method to simplify their bookkeeping and business taxes. In fact, with upcoming changes in digital filing of accounts, HMRC are actively promoting the use of cash accounting. So, in this, the second video in our basic bookkeeping spreadsheet series, we will start the design of our bookkeeping spreadsheet by using the cash accounting method. Firstly, take a look at the completed spreadsheet template. This is what we're going to build together. In this spreadsheet, you will note that we are only recording payments out and monies in. This is the cash accounting method and hopefully you can see how easy this method is. So let's get started on our design work. Open up a new workbook and our first task will be to create the table outline for our bookkeeping spreadsheet. To give our worksheet a crisp and clear background, pick up the page layout ribbon and then deselect the view grid lines box. Now select row 5 by clicking on the row number sidebar. Now with row 5 active, right click your mouse and select the row height option. In the row height dialog box that opens, set the value to 30 and then click OK to save and close. Now select cell B5 and enter the text line. And now, moving one cell at a time, enter in the following table headings. So, C5 becomes date. D5 is type. E5 is analysis. F5 becomes reference 1. G5 is reference 2. H5 reads amount. I5 is sales, J5 becomes other income, K5 reads cost of sales, L5 is expenses and finally M5 becomes other items. Let's now align and centre these headings and then adjust the column widths so that all the text is clearly visible. So. Firstly, highlight the range B5 through to M5. Now right click your mouse and select the Format Cells tool. In the Format Cells dialog box that opens, select the Alignment tab. Set both the horizontal and the vertical alignments to read Center. Now click OK to save these settings. Now I am going to adjust the various column widths so that all the text in each header cell is clearly visible. Let's start this process in column M. Click on column M in the column header top bar. Now with column M active, place your cursor on the intersection line between column M and column N. A bold width scale icon now appears. With the icon showing, you can now drag out the column header to a suitable size. Now select column L and repeat the process. OK, now that you've got the hang of it, complete the formatting for the rest of the header line. Hopefully, you will end up with something close to my work as shown on screen. Please do pause the video whilst you complete this process. Let's give our header line a distinctive background and apply a prominent border to fully demarcate the line. Highlight the range B5 through to M5 
and from the home ribbon choose a light grey colour from the fill palette. Now with the range B5 through to M5 still active, make bold and change the font colour to dark blue. Now highlight the range B5 through to H5 and then right click your mouse. Pick up the Format Cells tool and then the Borders tool. In the Borders tool dialog box, choose the Thick Bold Line Style. Set the colour to dark green and then choose the Outline option. The Borders tool grid gives you an illustration of what your border will now look like. Click OK to save and close. Now highlight the range I5 through to M5 and by using the cell formatting tool once again select the thick border line style. Change the colour to purple and once again click on the outline option and hit OK to save and close. As usual we are giving away a free copy of this completed spreadsheet template. To get your free copy all you have to do is to follow us on our Facebook page and then send us a direct message quoting free bookkeeping spreadsheet. We will then send you the download link together with a 100% discount code which you can then apply against the product's cost. Alternatively, you can download the product directly from the Mr Spreadsheet website where it is priced at just $9.99. Just follow the link shown above and in the description section below. Let's now enter in our first line of data. So in cell B6, enter the number 1, as this is the first line of our data. Enter the date 1st of January 2024 into cell C6. Now, as we are using the cash accounting method for our bookkeeping, we will only be entering in actual bank or cash payments or receipts. You can check out our video on the use of cash accounting by following the link above. I have also referenced this video in the description section below. Select cell D6 and type in receipt. We are going to analyse this receipt to sales, so enter sales type A in cell E6. The next two cells are for you to enter a suitable reference or references for this transaction. I have entered in our customer's name, ABC, and a reference to our invoice number that ABC is paying. Now enter the value of $500 in cell H6. To complete this line of data, we need to categorize this transaction. The categories we will use are set out in the title range I5 through to M5. Quite obviously, this is a sales transaction, so simply enter 500 into cell I5. You will see how this categorizing feature works later on. Let's enter in our second line of data. Navigate to cell C7 and enter in the date the 2nd of January 2024. Type payment into cell D6 and enter an analysis of materials. Our payment is to Coopers and Reed and the reference is Widgets Green and the value is minus $215 as this is a payment. Now we need to categorize this transaction. Material purchases would fall under the broad category of cost of sales, as this cost relates directly towards our inventory. Again, please don't worry too much about this terminology, as the sales, cost of sales and gross profit for your business is fully discussed during the course of this bookkeeping spreadsheet series. There is a link to that video below. So for the moment, enter minus 215 in cell K7 to complete the line. OK, that's the basic structure for our bookkeeping spreadsheet. 
Let's tidy up the lines of data by applying some formatting. Firstly, expand the column widths for any cells that have data that overlaps the cell's width, such as column F and column G. We want the numeric values in the range H6 to M7 set to two decimal places. Highlight this range and then double click the Increase Decimal tool on the Home ribbon. Highlight the range C7 through to M7 and use the Fill palette to change the background colour to a pale green. Select the range F6 through to G7 and click on the Align Left tool on the Home ribbon, such that all the contents in this range, including the numeric values, are formatted to the left of the cell. Finally, highlight the range C6 through to M7 and from the Borders tool on the Home ribbon, select the Bottom Border option. This looks fine. We can now use the Format Painter tool to copy this exact formatting to an expanded data range. So, with the range C6 through to M7 active, click on the Format Painter tool on the Home ribbon. Now, highlight the range C8 through to M25. This entire range now mimics the formatting of our top two lines. Finally, let's use the Sequence command to automatically populate our line numbers in column B. Delete the number 1 in cell B6 and in its place type in the command equals sequence open brackets 20 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 and close the brackets. Once you press enter, the numbers 1 through to 20 will appear in column B. The sequence formula simply says that for the next 20 lines, increment the number 1 in cell B6 by 1. Now highlight the range B6 through to B25 and use the centering tool to align the values and to change the font colour to gold and make bold. And that's it. Our basic structure for the bookkeeping spreadsheet template is complete. We do hope that you enjoyed watching and designing this bookkeeping spreadsheet video tutorial series with us. If you are new to the Mr Spreadsheet channel, then please do subscribe. And if you want to be notified of our future video releases, then please be sure to select the notifications option as well. If you need further help or clarification of the various formulas, functions, commands and routines that we have used, then please do use the comment sections below to leave your message. We will always reply to these. And finally, if you like this content, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. We look forward to seeing you in the next video, details of which will follow shortly.